So, Steffi and I are out in the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Wilderness today. This is my daughter, Stephanie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're just out exploring. We don't have any specific agenda. We're looking to see what spring plants have started to pop up through the ground and what buds are out and hopefully some wildlife if we get to be. It's a hot day here in Halifax. It's noontime and we're running about 18 or 20 degrees Celsius. Very dry, very little breeze right now. Black flies are all over us. We just had to put bug screen on or bug spray on. But uh, we're hoping to get into a nice a little slight breeze so that we can keep the bugs off us and enjoy the, the cooling of the breeze. Follow along if you're interested in seeing what we find. Yeah, this is a day of black flies for sure. A little break down. Protect the forest floor. It's a cool little wood stove. This is a, a whole wood stove, Stephanie. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's called a uh, Firebox Nano. And I can use it for wood fire. We were allowed to have one. And I can use it with my alcohol stove. Once we go down to the lake and eat it, maybe get away from the, get the wind. Or even while it's going to take a little break down there. Yeah. Alright, I'll get my stove. There's some in it still. There's a little bit. Ah, make an eyeball. How are you going to light the fire? Uh huh. Very simply. A lighter. <laughs> Sometimes I can do it just directly with the lighter, but I like to carry a little candle wick. You can't see it, can you? No. You can feel it when you do that. You can hear it. You can hear it now, yeah. We will be putting a windscreen around it. And lunch, all right, well. The lunch it brought us today is a Punjab eggplant. Mm. Oh, you guys can see that? Punjab eggplant lunch. It's instant. Put it in the microwave. And the other one is lentils, brown rice, and quinoa. I think they have a lot of food here. Mm -hmm. So normally what you do is you'd heat them up separately and then put like a base of it down on your plate. 
and then but I think we can just mix it in together. The other way is if you have a big enough pot you can set them right in the water and let them heat up in the bag but again I think we'll just heat them right in there. Mm -hmm. Spicy. All right, I need. You don't have. Do you have your spoon right there? Um, I can do it. Go for a few minutes, see what that does. Flies. <laughs> nice. Good? Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, show everybody. Hope you can see this. Punjab eggplant with brown rice, lentils, and quinoa. Quite tasty. We had to move down from the inland trying to get out of the breeze. And we, and the flies were killing us. We couldn't breathe in without swallowing a fly. It'll sit in the sun, even if it is a little breezy. That's good. Spice. Bit of curry. Just eat this whole lunch. We're going to have this and then we're going to sit up and we're going to have some coffee. I'll bring you back when it's coffee time. This has been a, a day of flies. Beautiful day, but holy smokes, the black flies are absolutely eating us alive. Steffi and I are out for a hike today in the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Wilderness area, and we've just had a wonderful lunch on the side of the lake here. We started inland a little bit, but the flies, the black flies, were just eating us alive despite the fact that we're covered in deet. Uh, it's windy out here on the shore, but even so, I had to create a little bit of a smudge just try to keep the, the uh, black flies away. It seems to be working now, but uh, hopefully the, it doesn't create too much wind noise for us to record. So we're going to have a little bit of a taste test on coffee. So two coffees, I'm sure stuff you've had, probably had the Starbucks before, haven't you? Uh -huh. But I don't think you've had this one before, have you? Okay. So I have two coffees. I'm going to bring it up to the cameras to show what it is. And uh, it's just a new instant coffee I found. Yes, I know, instant, but uh, some people like instant, and I think today is a day for instant coffee for us as well, because we're pretty soon going to have to get moving and get away from these flies. So I'll show you the coffees. Well, for today's taste test, the old standby is the Starbucks Via Instant, and this is a Colombian blend, and I, I chose the Colombian blend because the Challenger today is also a Colombian blend, and this is called Alpine Start. Alpine Start is also an instant coffee and it's made very much the same way that the, Colum or the Starbucks coffee is in that it is a combination of freeze-dried coffee as well as micro-powdered coffee. So they both do that. They're both the only brands I know right now that do that. So these are the challengers. We're going to do a blind taste test. I've tasted them both before so I've already got my thoughts. But Steffi has not tasted the new one. So I'm going to put the place them in cups. She won't know which one is which and we'll give them a taste test and see what she thinks. 
Alright Steph, come on back. Our water's hot. Steph does not know which of these has which coffee in it. Fortunately I do. Now let's put a little bit in your mug. It <laughs> rolled away in the wind, didn't it? Six ounces of water, that's probably about right there. Stir it up and, uh, and stir mine. Did you burn your tongue? My tongue? No. It's too hot. Too hot? Okay. We're going to wait a little bit. I'll just let it run though and uh, we'll uh, shorten the time period up on the camera. Because what we didn't anticipate was how hot our coffee would be. And uh, we had to wait a few minutes for it to cool down. Steph's got an insulated mug. So we had to wait a couple minutes. Very windy. Hope you can hear us. Uh, we're tasting it. Steph it does not know what she's drinking. I do. What do you think of that? It's good. All right. Are we switching? Switch test, and then you tell me which one you like better. Anybody want to guess? I think everybody knows already. Steffi doesn't. She's drinking Starbucks in this mug right now, in the Cooksa, and in this one is the Alpine Start Colombian coffee. Now what's interesting is they're both made the same way. They should have very similar tastes, but they don't. They're both Colombian coffees as well. But for whatever reason, the Starbucks seems a little bit richer, a little bit stronger. Richer. We put it, richer? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the way you put it. And uh, yeah, this is mild. It's good. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's better than the last test I did on the Jiva Instant Cubes. I don't think you've tasted those, have you? They've got a, like a sugar, the cane sugar binds them together, so it's always sweet. Steph and I have very similar tastes. We both like rich, strong coffees and drink them black, so that's why it was a pretty good comparison test. Uh, yeah, Starbucks is still the number one as far as instant coffees go, as far as I'm concerned, apparently as far as Steffi's mm -hmm. concerned as well. And it is the better price. The Alpine Starred is 50 to 75 percent again is expensive. So where that runs about a dollar, this runs about a dollar 75 to two dollars a cup. And uh, I'll put the link though if you're interested where I got these. I got them at Mountain Equipment Co. up here in Halifax. So it's supposed to provide a better experience, but it doesn't beat out the Starbucks yet.
should be enough. Mm -hmm. ah. That's late afternoon here. Steffi and I have been on the trail five and a half hours. Yep. Yeah, we've, uh, oh my, no, 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 six and a half hours. Yeah, and we still have about another 45 minutes to an hour left before we're out of the woods. But we wanted to stop. We just sat down and uh, refilled our water and sat in the sun for about 15 minutes. If I didn't get up and move, I don't think I would have because I was starting to get dozy, just mm -hmm. sleepy. It was a great hike, but I gotta tell you, I think the black flies are at their absolute peak. We were eaten alive. Probably have no red bumps on me, despite the the fact that we were using DEET. A lot of a lot of black flies. Yeah. A lot of fun. Did you have fun today? Yeah, I did. Uh, anything special stand out? Uh, seeing the wildlife, seeing the little woodpecker just now, and uh, garter snake when we sat down to eat. Right. Yeah. We had a good lunch. Yeah. If it had not been a fire ban, Steffi's been wanting to learn some bushcraft skills, so we, this won't be our last trip. It's not our first trip out together, it won't be our last, but Steph's going to start to amass a few bushcraft items, and uh, well, I think one of the first things we'll do is we'll learn flint and steel, maybe some bow drill and ferrocerium rod, of course, and how to build a proper fire once the fire ban is off. But I think we're going to wrap it up now. Hope that there was enough that you got something that you enjoyed watching, and until the next one, get out and explore. Take that path less traveled, it will make all the difference. Bye for now.